Hello and welcome to KennyRoy.com. I'm Kenny Roy. This is the Ask Video Mail for the week of February 18th, 2013. Welcome to the site to the new members and welcome back to the old. The Ask Video Mail is your chance to get your question in character animation or performance answered in a video just like this one, but I need your question if I'm going to answer it, of course. So please send them to webmaster at KennyRoy.com. I go through all the questions and I answer the ones that I think will help the most people. There is no such thing as a stupid question and it is the best way to get the most out of the site. So, uh, it's a little over halfway through February and I still haven't even received one person uh, recording themselves doing the um, opening to KennyRoy.com. Like I said, I'm giving, gonna give away uh, two copies to the two best. I'm not gonna go back on this. Just because nobody's doing it doesn't mean that the offer is gonna be uh, pulled back. Um, two copies, one copy to each of the best two videos of you recording yourself doing the opening to KennyRoy.com. I haven't received any yet, so I'm just going to put that out there. If you want to do it, maybe now's the time. What do you think of my beard? It's coming in pretty cool, right? But i got to change the avatar if I'm going to keep this beard. So I don't know. Why don't you, uh, why don't you uh, give me some feedback on the beard as well? I just want, I want to know what you think. I want to know what you think about everything. How am I doing? How am I doing? Um, if you were a Kickstarter backer, last week you had the uh, chance to see a webcast with me and Joe Cassander which I hope you very much enjoyed. We're gonna be doing a lot of webcasts from now on on KennyWare.com. I know there were audio issues. We have sorted those out. The next webcast will have perfect audio. It'll be like Dolby. It'll be beautiful, you'll love it. Don't worry about that. I'm gonna get some big names in here, uh, some pretty uh, intense uh, people in the animation industry. Uh, I know you're gonna love it. So uh, check out the homepage. I'll obviously, I'll be announcing them in the video mails, that kind of thing. And uh, I hope you're enjoying yourself here on the site. Um, let's see what else. And anything else you want. I mean, there is a resource wish list and a lot of people, and this is in the forum, so if you are a, uh, a member of KennyRoy.com, even if you're on the trial period, you can put something into the resource wish list. If you want to ask an Ask Video Mail question, there is a contact form on the, in the Ask section uh, in the menu that you can find very easily, and you can ask a question that way. Uh, but if you want something that's a little bit bigger of a resource, maybe it's a lecture, or maybe it is a, um, something that's like a completely new resource if you want like a rig or if you want like a, uh, something that's completely, uh, like a webcast would be a perfect um, thing to ask for in the resource wish list. So just go into the forums under resource wish list and um, just start a new thread and like, hey, I'd like you to webcast with a rigger to find out what riggers are thinking about or whatever it is. Um, I'd, I'd like to know what you're thinking and I'd like to give you what you want. So um, go into the uh, forums and suggest what you'd like to see here on the site. My, I'm totally open to any suggestion, okay? I uh, believe me, I want, to, uh, I want to be a resource for you and I want to offer you things that you can't get anywhere else. All right, okay, do we have a deal? Good, fantastic, um, it is uh, let's see, let's just jump right into the question. I think it's a, it's a good question. Again, another uh, one that blends a little bit of the technical and the creative. Um, let's take a look. So uh, this is a good question. Uh, I think just to start off, you have to ask yourself when you're starting a shot, um, if you're gonna use FK or IK arms. Um, this sounds like this person's having trouble with FK arms getting the poses that he wants. And um, you know, that can be, that can be super frustrating. I, I hear you, I feel your pain. Um, I, I know how badly you want to uh, get those awesome poses and, uh, and I wanna help you get that. Okay, so um, uh, the first thing you have to decide though is are you using the right um, kind of arms um, for, your, for your action? A lot of the, pe the, uh, a lot of the time people use uh, the, 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 the type of arm um, for the wrong reason, okay? And so this is how I decide whether or not I'm gonna use FK or IK arms. Um, IK arms are great when you need a really, really, really specific arc on your um, like on your hand or on your elbow or something like that a very specific arc if you don't need a very specific arc or your hand doesn't have to like stay in place or something like that if you don't need those things then IK arms are not a good idea 
Okay. Now, if you want, like some people think that like IK arms give you a lot smoother arcs, and that can be debated, I guess. But um, I think that FK arms, in the end, actually give you smoother arcs because you're dealing with just rotations. When you deal with the translation of an IK controller, you're actually dealing with translation and rotation, and you're messing up your arc. Right? So you have to like really work that, that IK handle in order to get like a smooth arc if you're doing an action like this. But when you're dealing with rotation, as long as your curves are smooth, you're going to get a smooth arc with FK. It's kind of how it works, but it's additive. So I, I, what I feel like this question is really asking is how do you, um, um, the, the question is how do you do, get it without rotating every axis on every joint? Well, it seems like what you need to do is you need to plan your poses a little bit better. Okay. Now there is a, um, a, a tool called Blue Pencil, um, or you could get a, a Grease Pencil script um, for Maya. In Maya 2014, Grease Pencil is actually built in, so you can actually draw over your poses. Um, or if you're just doing thumbnails, that would um, help uh, as well for you to do a lot more pose-centric uh, thumbnails. What I tell my students is that when you are doing thumbnailing, you shouldn't be directing through your thumbnails. If you have like storyboards and that kind of thing, that's a good time for you to be doing like camera choices and framing and composition, but thumbnails are way, 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 way better for um, working out pose issues, all right, and drawing your character like in, mo you know, on model and actually making like a really, really strong pose, all right. So don't think about like this epic shot and don't try to do perspective and like camera angles or whatever with your thumbnails. Really try to work out pose. So if you're thinking about it, um, if you're thinking about pose a lot more, I think you'll have less problems is what I'm trying to say. There are still, there's always going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt when you're working with FK arms if you want a very specific um, arc. If you can switch to IK and you're, and you're still like not getting the arc that you want, um, I, I thought about some of these things. It's funny, I, I got this question after I was um, kind of frustrated setting up the FK IK switch on a character I'm rigging for a book I'm writing. So uh, I'm just going to switch real quickly and just talk through like what I was realizing and kind of what was frustrating me about the um, about uh, about the you know uh, rigging this switch and and how it relates to posing FK versus IK arms. So take a look. Okay, so here's this character um, and it, he's a very 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 simple character and he's not skinned uh, yet. So the, the mesh actually doesn't. I just want to show you the mesh um, before I hide it so that you can see. Actually, you know what? Shouldn't be too hard just to really, really quickly just um, um, just do a really quick smooth bind. It's going to have all these nulls um, attached as well, so the skinning is not going to be very good. Um, so um, just you know, bear with me, but it, it should work. Oh gosh! All right. Anyway, so. Uh, the thing that was frustrating me mostly was, all right, so I have this uh, arm and I have this FK IK switch that I rigged into it. And I was trying to figure out how to put the shoulder, how to make the shoulder work with the FK because the, the joint that has the IK handle, basically this is the start joint, right? So if you move this, this joint right here is the first one that has, you know, the base of that IK handle. Right? That doesn't want to move. In fact, if you, if you try to move that, uh, you won't be able to. It gets stuck when you put that handle on there. So I couldn't just rotate, um, I couldn't just rotate this bone because it's stuck there. Like I said, see that IK handle does not want to move. Okay? So, and even though it's in FK mode right now, see the arm, I have FK control on that elbow, okay? So I realized I had to parent constrain the upper arm bone to this controller and then just have this controller's pivot point be centered on the, the, the parent joint and then I could rotate it. And it's kind of a little bit of a hack. It's a little bit of a, you know, a sloppy solution. But once I started moving this around, I realized, man, it is so much easier to go into IK mode to position this arm where you want it, like this, and then like do like a little shoulder shrug, like, oh, I don't know, oh, whatever, eh, doesn't matter. See, because of, because of like you gut that, that arc for free, you have all that, you know, that stuff is, is there just working for you all automatically, okay? 
So then I, I thought to myself, like, man, my IK um, arm posing workflow is way, 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 way depending on that, that fact. If I had to do a lot of shoulder work, I'd be in a lot of trouble with, um, with FK. And so basically, um, this is the conclusion I came to. If you're doing a pose, if you're doing an action that actually really requires like um, um, shoulder um, motion or whatever, um, then you want, to, you, you want to start by building that in, of course. So if you're doing a shrug, and then you'd have to bring the arm down. Yikes! I know how I know how ugly the skinning is right now, but whatever. If this was your little, you know, shoulder shrug, um, you would do that. And you really, really, really want to start at the top. There's no reason though for you to bend like the elbow on an off axis. And when I'm done this rig, actually, I'm actually going to constrain all the axes except this rotate Y, okay? Because I don't want the the elbow to break. So there's no reason you should be breaking elbows if you have a really good um, pose worked out in your thumbnail. So that's, when I, that's why I brought up um, the blue pencil, because if you have a blue pencil tool that you can draw over your scene, especially if it has like frame, frame, like if you can like wire that to a frame, you don't have to actually like animate it or bring it as an image plane or anything messy like that. So if you have like, there's actually a tool called Blue Pencil and it's like 99 bucks, which is a lot. You might want to wait for Maya 2014 to come out um, or not. It depends, do what, you, do what you want to do, but just get some way to plan your poses in panel. That way you can draw like where you want your arcs and what you want exactly for that arm to do. And then you're just following a guide. If you check out, let me see here, I'm gonna bring it up. So there's this scene in, in How to Cheat in Maya where basically the idea was this. I wanted to get like, um, this, is a, this is pretending that you're doing a, um, a scene like in uh, Horton Hears a Who, right? Where the mayor is running, but he has like 10 shots of Novocaine in his arm and his arm is like wiggling behind him, right? And so what my tip was in How to Cheat in Maya is come up with a way to just really quickly give yourself that visual reference of what that would look like. And in this case, it's a cylinder that has a wave deformer on it. And then in panel, all you have to do is then pose your character and pose his arm wherever that, that, that cylinder is, and you, bam, for, basically for free, you got um, the exact same motion, okay? So if you, if you watch it play back, it actually looks like his arm is like wiggling behind him, like, you know, like it's completely limp, like in the movie Horton Hears a Who, right? There's no reason why you can't do the same thing with a blue pencil tool. Give yourself that visual reference, and this, this is an FK arm. Okay, so it would be impossible for you to think about this and like really like work this out um, with an, especially with an FK arm um, like this, it'd be impossible to like work it out and make it look like all, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, fluid and whatever and hitting those, those poses, right? So your frustration in terms of um, like when you're trying to get a, a specific pose with that arm and you're just battling with all the FK, like you almost get it close, but then you rotate the shoulder and everything is wrong. It just means you need to plan the entire pose a lot more. I feel that a blue pencil tool is really, really good, but at the very least, you need to start with um, super strong thumbnails that are giving you everything from the shoulder where it connects um, all the way out to the end of the fingertips. And maybe you want to switch to IK if you want to get that really super specific arc um, or, or, or arm pose, okay? Um, but really overall, I mean, do, do yourself a favor. I mean, I always bring things back to workflow if I can. Do yourself a favor of making, uh, just like take one more pass at your workflow and, and ask yourself like at each step, like have I, have I asked the right questions? Or if I have already like defaulted to FK arms or IK arms or whatever it is, like why did I do that? Can I, can, I, can I take a second and like make a better choice um, each time? And, and, and that's what really workflow is down to. I've been really harping on workflow in the lectures a lot. I haven't been harping on workflow in the, in the video mails very often. And um, I think it's time I, I start to start to remind you guys like on a weekly basis, like why you're supposed to be paying attention to how you're working. Okay, um, so uh, that was a really, really great question. I like to see more questions like that, okay? Um, ones where it's basically, you know, it's a blend of tech 
technical and creative, but like it comes down to workflow. And I know, I know it can get annoying, but like seriously, every single person that I've, I've, I've taught workflow to has come out the other side and said like, uh, I, I really like I have no fear now I know exactly like how to do it like how to how to approach a shot how to like have no fear and really do the best work that I can I think that's really rewarding okay so uh, commit to that if you can and to the, and, and one more time to the person who asks this um, question um, don't uh, be afraid to take a little bit of liberty as well with with the arm posing um, Every once in a while, it's okay to um, break the arms uh, uh, just a little bit. Uh, you don't want to do that as a habit. You probably want to rotate the elbow, you know, on one axis, for instance, um, as much as you can. And then in final polish, you can break it a little bit. Also, a lot of rigs have like controllers where you can deform. You can make like a curved shape like on, on the straight bones and, and stuff like that. So it, it really is meant there to be you know, manipulated and broken and, and worked with and, and improved. So um, don't feel like you're like really, really under like the gun to, to, uh, to, to rotate things like perfectly realistically as well. Okay, cool. So uh, please send in more questions. I love to get your questions. Send them to webmaster at kennyroy.com. I'm having a lot of fun. I hope you are too. Look forward for more uh, announcements on the KennyWire.com homepage. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Good luck with your animation. And as always, rock on.